This is how it's done. This video is brought to you by the Spider Combat Arena. Support the Kickstarter today. Oh my goodness. So I'm sure you guys are all well aware of this tap dancing, chuck and jiving uh, clown of an individual named David Lucas. Be due to his just uh, asinine, ignorant, and just anti-black comments regarding uh, a horrific event in this country. Now, <laughs> My video of me talking about, hey, there has got to be repercussions for such anti-black behavior, bruh. It must have hurt somebody because y'all did not miss. This is what I'm talking about. When it comes to FBA, black American, freedmen, this is what I'm talking about, okay? This precisely here. Because you're not going to have someone talk about as far as the Jews or try to make jokes about the Holocaust without the ADL getting on their butt, without them costing as far as their livelihood, their finances, their freedom in some cases, their family, everything in disarray. And then the question is about cannabis owners. I think her behavior during this is on these particular issues has been ridiculous. It's not post sophistication, it's ridiculous. Everybody can see the moves that she's making and the things that she's saying and I find them disreputable. That same power can be bestowed upon us to as far as filter and, and put out refuge for our people. That's what can be done and that is what needs to be done and that is what's happening. Y'all went above and beyond. Apparently you guys were calling the comedy stores, telling them, hey, is this, is this what you promote? Do you promote anti-black racism? Y'all even went so far to get his mother on the line. Y'all got his mother and his uncle on the line. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. This is precisely what I'm talking about. That it deserves a a round of applause, all right? If he keeps on going on with it, well, I think as far as the, the community should keep on as far as, uh, there has to be repercussions, this is what it is. I think we should keep on pushing it to the point where it's like, hey, now, now you've made it a bigger problem, all right? Now, you're no longer be able to provide for your child because he says he's a father. So now it's gonna get to the point where your, your child is gonna be starving. Do you want that to happen? Do you want to, as far as to keep on promoting anti-black rhetoric to the extent that your child will be starving to the detriment of your child and your baby's mama? Hmm? Is that what you want? I don't think he does. And you can see from his corpulent self that you, he clearly loves to eat, okay? You, you uh, affect his pockets, he won't be able to get all the McDonald's that boy's been eating. He won't be able to get all the Arby's he's been eating, okay? So best believe, It'll get up, it'll click in his head because some people are, are, are you know, they pig headed. All right. They pig headed. They just they tough to get through. But eventually. All right. Once he no longer has any food on the plate and he and his stomach starts to growl, he'll be like, you know what? It's not worth me tap dancing and doing all this. I can find uh, other jokes that aren't being disrespectful and demeaning uh, to my people. I think I'll do that. But I want y'all to understand because I'm going to get to it. Uh, I want y'all to understand that when I talk about a lineage of evil, please, please do not confuse it. Do not conflate it with solely and exclusively white people. Please don't do that. That would be a foolish, foolish mistake for you to make because that would, okay, that would give the okay to the Kunis Owens of the world, to the Thomas Souls of the world, to the Larry Elders of the world. That would give them a pass to the Simone Sanders of the world, to the, what's that bald-headed uh, uh, black dude on CNN? I forgot his name already. That would give them a pass. And no, 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 no. They don't deserve a pass. So let me be clear when it comes to the lineage of evil, that it encompasses everyone of evil lineage, such as David Lucas, this individual, because upon them calling up his mother, listen to me what I said, upon them calling up his mother and his uncle, guess what these mofos were talking about? 
Well, you have to understand that what about the black on black crime? You have to understand what about that? Bruh, I kid you not. I kid you not. His mother talking about, well, what about the father in this household? What about the family? We got to help our kids. Uh, I, I do think we, we as black people, we have to understand that that's not, that's really not the issue. But but I think some of our like artists, the music artists that we do have, uh, like there's a female artist that raps in her, her, her lyrics. No one, no one wants her to take that down when she tells young girls, to uh, do uh, certain things that exploits their sexual nature. Huh? Uh, you have so many different avenues, uh, and I understand what you're saying, but you have so many other avenues where we as black people, we allow our sons and daughters to uh, walk around and be actually murdered you know, and no one goes and protests, you know, the family of the son or the or the whoever killed that individual. What? You know, I think that I think that we're dealing with a a small not even a small issue when it comes to the more impact stuff. You know, and I understand, you know, your 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 art of concern. But there's been so many comics you know, uh, out in our world, that that uh, that's what comedians do, and uh, and and sure enough, you know, we have been bamboozled so much to where we don't we don't pull the trigger on like more relevant stuff that we really need to. You know what I mean? Beta. I, uh, my my uh, my comment. I don't know. You know what you saying. My son said. I don't know the whole content. Said so. I, I can play the audio know. if you needed me to. I, I mean, I don't want to comment on this. Uh, on You're getting no stupid out of this time. Just this time and talk about what's it. going on. The whole situation. I'm not going to talk to him, but uh, my comment you know, is, you know, things that happen to our black kids. Things that happen to our black kids is 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 they don't have the right guidance and the leading. Uh, that you know the situation there, you know it's the, the, a lot of single parents are raising. Huh? Our children, our boys, our boys need that tough love from a man. If they need positive black leaders who's gonna stand up, gonna go to schools, gonna do things to help them be better people. Bro, I kid you not, bro. I, as God is my witness, I kid you not. Let me just say, okay, respectfully, that Stephen from Django, he had kids. Just to let you know, he had kids just as well as, as the candy man, the plantation owner. He had kids as well. So please understand this, that even the, 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 the Stephen from Django's have a lineage out there. Because you, you have to think, you think that, hey, their parents couldn't have raised them this way. Their father couldn't have raised them that way. There has to be something amiss. Something's going wrong. No, no, no. I mean, no, this is case in point. This has nothing to do, unfortunately, as far as with, with America. This has nothing to do with the conditioning that has happened to many of us. This individual stems from a lineage of evil. He stems from house Negroes. That's what his lineage is. He was taught this clearly at a young age. He was taught this at a young age. He has a whole family of tap dancers. Now, you can go back to them and who taught them, and honestly, it would stem from, I would, uh, as I would argue Dr. Gory would say, um, post-traumatic slave syndrome. Get the book if you haven't. But that's what it would honestly stem from. Where as far as, you know, you would have the Negroes who were buck broken and they would have a buck broken lineage. That fight was, was beaten out of them. So you have these individuals, unfortunately, who had children. This, this house Negro beget this house Negro that beget this one, that beget this one, and then you have a whole lineage. Unfortunately, there wasn't, there wasn't a demon to, to pay them to do this. They were doing it freely. 
Mm -hmm. That's correct. They were tap dancing before they even knew they could get paid to tap dance because they had a lineage of evil. They had a lineage of tap dancing. They didn't know any other option. You have to take this into account when you address uh, this individual, David, David Lucas, um, that you know what? He was born into this. OK, <laughs> he was he was born into the tap dancing. All right. He didn't see he didn't see what it meant to be FBA and proud uh, until he was nearly a man. And by then it was it was blinding to him. OK, there was nothing he could do about it. You have to understand this individual has a child. Now, I don't know anyone who would reproduce with such a, a grotesque um, figure. I don't know anyone who would do that. You have to be a very low, 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 low self-confident woman to reproduce with this, uh, this individual. But nevertheless, he has now a lineage. And guess what that lineage will become? A lineage of Stephen from Django. A lineage of evil. Unless God be willing, God be willing, Lord, that they break the cycle. That their child breaks a cycle. It's the same thing with Tatum and the rest of them. Unless their child breaks a cycle. But if they don't, they, it just is what it is. It is what it is. I say that to say this, that this individual has made an apology. That's correct, he apologized. Apologize. <laughs> that's, that's what he did. You know anytime a, a person gets all close to the camera and talking about, you know, uh, you see what happened was, you know, I talked to the family and then, yeah, you, you know he done messed up. You know he done messed up. And he's talking about how he didn't mean to hurt anybody. He didn't mean to disrespect anybody. And I have kids, so I didn't know how I know how she feeling them. Listen, bro, we don't want to hear any of that. We don't want. Hi, this is comedian David Lucas. Uh, you know me from Kill Tony and other various roast shows. Uh, I'm an edgy, uh, push the boundary comedian. And uh, my job as a comedian is to bring humor in dire situations. With that being said, there's a clip that is circulating around social media. And um, since that clip has came out, I have spoken to a lot of George Floyd's family. I spoke to Cal Wayne, Trader Truth, Stephen Jackson. And uh, my intention was to never cause harm to his family or make them revisit a moment that happened a few years ago. Uh, I'm a father, so I get it. I understand how his kids feel. I've spoken to his whole family and um, we've came, uh, you know, to an understanding as to how to move forward from this. And uh, just want to apologize to his kids and everybody who was close to him. We don't want to hear any of this, bro. We don't want to. We don't want to hear any of this. And even still, he's trying to say, "Well, I didn't apologize to the joke. I apologized to the family, bro." This is some. This where did he? Where do you think he learned this from? Where do you think his parents learned this from? Where do you think they learned it from? The plantation owner, the slave master. It just is what it is. Like I said, the lineage of evil. That's where they learned it from. Because where do you see this in present day? This reframing. Well, I didn't apologize. What? What have I always called it? The Democrat apology, right? What do they apologize? Well, I'm sorry you got a, uh, that they feel that way. I'm sorry. They don't apologize for the action. They apologize for your emotions. <laughs> the, the lineage of evil strikes again. It just is what it is. Wait, and once you start getting privy to their tactics, you start to recognize it. It's the same thing when they want to say, oh, it's just a joke. You ever notice that? You ever notice that? That any time a saltine wants to say some anti-black racism, they'll package it in the form of a joke. Right. For example, you got the Steven Crowders, you got the, you know, uh, those individuals, they'll package it in a joke. It's just a joke. It's not. You don't find this funny. What does this remind you of? Huh? What also did they say? It was just a joke. It was just entertainment. Blackface, the minstrel shows. Oh, it's just a joke. They, they don't mean no harm by it. It's just, just, bro, lineage of evil. You can, they can call me anything they want, but they can't call me a liar, bro. They can't refute anything that I'm saying. Nothing. But you have to understand the duplicitous nature of many of these uh, these evil, evil uh, demons. They're, they're demonic. They're possessed, I would argue, um, because you have to think about it. It's a joke in this case. But when you have, I don't know, black kids in college, well, that's anti-white racism. When you have as far as a, affirmative action, right, which didn't even benefit us. I won't even get into that. But it, it should have given you have to understand that was supposed to be a, a retribution for what this country had done to black people, made it illegal for them to read. Do you understand? <laughs> and then want to put us in the hood. And then upon them putting in the hood, they say, well, the hood, well, guess what? The schools are now funded by the, by the neighborhood. Bro, <laughs> just, 
the wickedness, the wicked behavior. And best believe they're going to get it. The same people who believe in the heaven and all Jesus and everything, they're going to wind up in hell. And I think that's the that's going to be beautiful. That's going to be. Mm, I can't wait to hear the gnashing of teeth. Oh, yep. That's 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 Kundis Owens. Oh, yep. That's Ben Shapiro. Oh, I guess Jesus is real. Huh, Benny boy. Oh, yeah. You know, you're going to hear them all. But anyways, I digress. But that's how it works. Right. When it comes to, to crack, what do they say it's a criminal. OK, it's a criminal. When it comes to George Floyd, criminal. Absolutely disgusting. Criminal. When it comes to Ashley Babbitt, she's a hero. They have a segment on it. They have Trump, president of the United States, talking about, oh, this is horrible what happened to Ashley Babbitt at her funeral. Think about that. Think about that. Criminal hero. When it comes to crack, like I said, criminal. When it comes to fentanyl, what do they say? I haven't heard anyone vilify someone who, who uh, overdosed from fentanyl. I haven't heard it. They having a little, little freaking uh, uh, little announcements talking about, hey, we have got to help these people. This is horrible. Have you, do you know someone who has suffered from fentanyl? Well, call this number and we can give them help, give them assistance. Think about it. They reframe it for their benefit. You cannot talk honestly and openly and sincerely with a group of people who are not honest, who are not open and who are not sincere. They're wicked. Do you have to you have to grasp your head around this? They will reframe their villainous nature, their villainous behavior as a positive always. And anything that you do will be a negative. That's what you have to understand. So I just want to say kudos to all the FBA uh, and getting this uh, this Stephen Fetcher, this absolutely just just um, just grotesque a shell of a man, David Lucas, to apologize, okay? I don't care if it's a Democrat apology or whatever it is. It's an apology, okay? And I think that's exactly what should happen to every single uh, black person. I don't care if they're FBA or Tether. I don't care what they are. That speaks and puts out this venom into the community. That puts out this anti-black rhetoric into the community. That's exactly what should happen. The Jews do it. White people do it, Asians do it, Hispanics do it. It's time for us to now do it, okay? That's what needs to happen. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, there is no either or. I know I've done this uh, before, but I'm sorry, there is no either or. If you happen to see this as a negative, as this man, David Lucas, coming out and apologizing, even though you know it was a half-assed apology, if you see that as a negative, or he's cowering to cancel culture and stuff like that, I'm sorry, you're part of the lineage of evil. It just is, is, is that you're either a part of the lineage of evil or you're ignorant, in which case I say, you know, you go educate yourself. But if you see this as a positive, as a step in the right direction, as a, as a point of, hey, we have got to um, filter our image. We cannot have black faces promoting anti-black rhetoric. And this is a step in the right direction. Well, you know, congrats. That's that's exactly what this is. And I hope we see more of it moving forward. You're more than welcome to call in during disagreement day if you happen to disagree with this, uh, which is typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in. We'll duke it out. Either or. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. I expect some fragility in the comments as there was in the last one. Oh, they were so mad, bro. You could see the tears just while they were typing to the keeper. You're racist. This is you're so teeny. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Mm, delicious. Delicioso. Uh, share and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. And they would have a buck broken lineage.